Hey everyone, this is Ramey at UMI Performance. Today we're here in front of the UMI 1966 GM A-Body rear display. And we're gonna talk about the converging four length and some of the adjustments we can achieve with adjustable upper trailing arms. We're here today to talk about the upper trailing arms on the GM A-Body and some of the adjustments you can achieve with the upper trailing arms. We can change pinion angle and we can change the side to side location of the axle. Sometimes you get a tight tire on one side and a loose tire on the other side. We can move the rear side to side to make that adjustment and make the rear perfectly centered. One of the frequently asked questions is which way do I turn the stuff? So we would use a inch and an eighth wrench to loosen the jam nut. Then we use a one inch wrench to turn the adjuster. So if you look here, I'm going to loosen this this way, then loosen this this way, and that is going to lengthen the trailing arm and move the nose of the pinion upward. If you do it the opposite way, of course, it'll kick the pinion downward. So one of the lesser known things about the converging four length is we can move it side to side as well. So since these aren't parallel with no pan hard bar, uh, we actually rely on the convergence of these two upper trailing arms to hold the rear from moving side to side. So these actually almost act like the pan hard bar. So if we loosen one and tighten the other, it actually maintains the pinion angle but moves the rear side to side. If we pull it this way, shorten this one, of course the rear moves that way, and then we have to lengthen this one to center the pinion angle back up. During testing on the 1966 chassis here, we loosened the trailing arm one full turn on each side. And you'll be able to see on the angle finder that it moved 0.65 degrees of pinion angle. The second adjustment we can do is opposite. So if we loosen this one, one full turn. But tighten this one, one full turn. The pinion angle remains, but you'll be able to see on the dial indicator that the rear moves 110 thousandths to the side. So we can get roughly an eighth inch for each turn of the adjuster opposite on each arm. Another frequently asked question is how do I tighten the jam nuts? So on the, the UMI products, the end here that is attached to the chassis is a right hand thread, so it's normal. But the one towards the rear end is the opposite, so it's a left hand thread so we have to go the opposite way. We like to put the jam nut against the adjuster on the chassis side and against the trailing arm on the rear end side. For any other questions about the converging four link or any products we sell for these platforms, you can contact us at support at umiperformance.com or 814-343-6315.